Hey guys, welcome back. So last week we talked about piano and the music fundamentals, all that good stuff. This week we're going to talk about the grand staff, the brace on the grand staff, 8VA, 8VB, 15MA, 15MB, accidentals, and harmonic notes, pitch class, all that and more in today's episode of Music Mechanics. The treble clef and bass clef, when grouped together, are called the grand staff, indicated by the presence of both staffs connected with a line on the left margin and another wavy line called a brace. Here again is a picture of the piano keyboard with the corresponding location of the notes on the grand staff. Notice again where middle C is on the staff, one ledger line below the treble clef and one ledger line above the bass clef. This is the same note just written on both staves. Counting the number of ledger lines at the extreme low and high ranges of the staff can be daunting, cluttering, and counterproductive to sight reading. For this reason, notations like 8VA, 8VA BASA, abbreviated as 8VB, 15MA, and 15MB were invented. The 8 designation means a written note is to be played an octave higher or lower than written, while a 15 designation means two octaves higher or lower than written. Whether it is to be played higher or lower is determined by the remaining VA, MA, VB, or MB designations. The VA and MA designations mean higher than written, while the VB and MB designations mean lower than written. For example, notes written underneath an 8VA with an inclusive bracket above them are to be played one octave higher than written on the staff. Conversely, notes written above an 8VB with an inclusive bracket below them are to be played one octave lower than written. Notes written underneath a 15MA with an inclusive bracket above them are to be played two octaves higher than written, while notes written above a 15MB with an inclusive bracket below them are to be played two octaves lower than written. This example demonstrates these concepts by illustrating how to write the previous example using these notations. The black keys on the keyboard are commonly expressed in music notation through the use of accidentals. Less common is the use of white keys to express accidentals. The most common use of an accidental is as a way of lowering or raising a pitch by a measurement called a half step. A half step is the smallest distance available between two notes. On the keyboard, for example, a half step is achieved by playing a note one adjacent white or black key up or down from any given note. Starting from any given note, such as this A here, you can lower it through the use of an accidental called a flat using the shorthand symbol B, making this A flat, or raise it through the use of a sharp, using the symbol pound. A natural sign is used to cancel accidentals and return a note to its natural state. Notice in this example that the first D, as well as the third D, mark D natural, are both natural Ds, but the third one has a natural sign. They are the same note, just notated differently. Here's how they sound. Here's the natural D. D flat, D natural again, and D sharp. The black keys are typically used for sharp or flat versions of the notes on the white keys. For example, the black key immediately to the right of middle C is known as C sharp. It can also be known as D flat. It depends on how it's written on the staff. Here is that black key written as both C sharp and D flat. The rules regarding the use of accidentals are as follows. Rule number one, when an accidental is used in any part of a measure, it is applied to all of the notes following the accidental on the same line or space in the remainder of that measure. So for example, here's how this sounds. Notice all the notes following this flat are also flatted until the end of the measure. Rule number two. New measures require new accidentals if they are desired. So for example, this does not continue as D flat. It turns back to D natural. And we can prove that by going ahead and playing this again. D, D flat, D flat, D flat. And then 
there's a D again. D flat, D flat, D flat, and then there's another D flat. Rule number three. Accidentals only apply to the same notes in the same octave. So for example, even though this is D and this is D an octave up, this is D natural. So to listen to this, this is how this sounds. D natural, D sharp. To get a D sharp in this octave, you have to add a sharp to the note at that octave. Rule number four, and incidentally, this is the reason I introduced ties in the last episode. Notes in a following measure that are tied to a note in a preceding measure maintain that accidental. Then the notes appearing after the tied note on the same line or space in the following measure go back to normal. For example, we have D natural, D natural, D natural. Then we have a D sharp, and it's tied to this D, but being tied to it makes it a sharp as well. The next D, however, becomes a D natural. So if you want to change it, it has to be changed with an accidental. So let's listen to this. D natural, D natural, D natural, D sharp, tied, D natural, D flat, D flat. Notice also that this note was tied and it was twice as long as any of these other notes. Here's some other things you need to know about accidentals. On the staff, accidentals are always placed before the note to be changed. In other words, just left of the note head. You don't want to place it behind the note head. It's going to be before the note head. Just like here, we have D sharp, but the sharp is actually placed to the left of the note head, not to the right after the note head or after the note head. This is the exact opposite of how you would either say it or write it in words. For example, you would say or write D flat, even though on the staff, the way it is written is with the flat symbol before the D. Although less common, double flats or sharps are possible with accidentals. Double flats, written as two Bs, lower a note by two half steps. Double sharps, written as two pound signs or this symbol, raise a note by two half steps. Courtesy or reminder accidentals are sometimes used to remind a performer that accidentals continue to apply. For the purposes of this program, Courtesy accidentals will not be used except when multiple chords are in a measure. So for example, this D flat is really unnecessary. If I were to get rid of it, you notice this D flat still carries. It's just put there as a courtesy, as a reminder for the musician that's performing it. Natural signs cancel out the remaining accidentals in a particular measure, or from a key signature, defined later, when placed before a note. They last for the remainder of that measure. So for example, we've got D flat, E flat, and then when we go back to D, this D flat should carry over, but it doesn't because we've got a natural sign. And anything after that natural sign is also naturalized. So let's hear how this one sounds. It's D flat, E flat, D natural, and then D natural afterwards. Enharmonic is a musical term which means sounds the same but written differently. You can have enharmonic notes such as C sharp here and D flat. And to be defined later, you can also have enharmonic intervals, scales, key signatures, or chords. You may have noticed that this D double flat sounds exactly like C. D double flat and C. D double flat also sounds the same as B sharp. So you have B sharp, C, and D double flat all sounding exactly the same. These are sometimes referred to as enharmonic equivalents. There are several different but enharmonic ways to write the same note, chord, etc. with music notation. If C is played but isn't written on the staff and you are asked whether C B sharp or D double flat is played, you can answer all of them. It can be any of these until it's written down. How something is written determines what something is. In this case, D double flat is D double flat because it's written on the staff as D double flat. The reasons why someone might write D double flat as opposed to C will become clearer later on. 
Pitch class is a relatively uncommon academic term that groups all notes together in a class that has the same letter name in all octaves as well as their enharmonic equivalents. For example, C1 through C8 is in the same pitch class as well as B sharp 1 through B sharp 8, D double flat 1 through D double flat 8, and so forth. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like and leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you like the music you're listening to, please be sure to check out About 12 AM by my friend Bill Fulton at this link. Thank you.